Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another vid. You're here with the kid, Jerry Evil, Dunky the Kid, Jeremy Vareo, a man with many, many names, a man with very few talents. Anyway, today we're gonna to take a look at the process of moving your TuneTrack Easy Drummer 2 sound libraries from your main hard drive on your computer over to an external hard drive to free up some space. Stick around. All right, so the whole point of this video is I found myself in a situation where I was running out of room on my hard drive and wanted to free up some space. So since I recently got into Superior Drummer 3, which is like 350 gigs of, of drum files to download or sound files to download, I thought, I gotta come up with a better solution. Let's put it all on an external drive. I threw the question out to the TuneTrack Facebook group, got a couple responses that I think are gonna help me out and figure while I'm doing it, I might as well make the video and show you guys the process too. I can't be the only person in the world that wants to know how to get these files off my computer and onto an external. As I said, I made the mistake of not installing my libraries on an external drive, which is what I wanted to do. I installed them on my computer's hard drive. So I posed the question over at the TuneTrack user forum on Facebook and Bo hit me to this link here. On the TuneTrack site, which is where it'll take you, it explains it kind of step by step. It's very simple. We're doing this on a Mac, and on a Mac, you would find your uh, sound libraries on your hard drive, library, application support, Easy Drummer. On a PC, it would be on your C drive, under program files, common files, tune track, Easy Drummer. I'll provide this link in the description of the video as well. So we're going to go and just do exactly what it said. Get out of here, you. We're going to go to library, application support. There it is, Easy Drummer. We're gonna open our external hard drive and I've got a folder already called recording. I'm gonna make a new one, title it TuneTrack. And I'm just going to copy this Easy Drummer folder over here. It's going to take about 25 minutes. So see you shortly. Okay, so. Now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and throw caution to the wind and go back to that library, application support, Easy Drummer folder, and just, well, hold please. Okay, we're just gonna delete it. We're going to empty our trash because you have to do that. Now, when we launch, according to this document here, it says when you launch Easy Drummer and the folder has been removed, it's going to let us know it can't find the sound files. We're going to click browse and go to where we, to the external hard drive where we move the stuff. So let's see. I'm going to launch it. Oh, there it is. Hit browse. We're going to go to our external folder. Click that Easy Drummer thing. Hit open. And there they are. You can see it's loading our modern kit. We got sound. All our MIDI files are there. And it works. Beauty. All right, well, that was super simple. Mission accomplished. I got those files moved off my hard drive and onto my external. I'm gonna end up doing the same thing with Superior Drummer 3, so I'll make a vid for that just in case the process is different. I don't know, I haven't done it yet. This was my first time doing it with Easy Drummer. I hope you guys found this informational, helpful, whatever. I knew I couldn't be the only person in the world that was wondering how to do this. So now you know, and no one's half the battle. Go Jer. As always, thanks for checking out the channel. If you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe button and stick around for, uh, for more upcoming stuffs and learnings. Peace.